Phantom family. Thank y'all for joining me on another episode of Phantom Voices. Joining me today is Miss Eunice Love. She's the founder, CEO of Love Yourself Apparel. Campaign. Campaign. <laughs> all right, all right. And she's selling shirts. She got uh, a book book out today, right? Not today, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's something to do with today. Yeah, it's called Today I Will. There you go. Today I Will. Today I Will. But anyway, Miss Eunice, what's going on? It's a beautiful day in New Orleans, and I'm alive to see it. So a lot is going on with me, though. Like you said, I did uh, recently released my second book, and it's called. What's your second book? Yeah, it's called Today I Will, and it's about firming the things that seamlessly make us great. It's about improving who we are and taking each day to practice something mm -hmm. to get us uh, to the level of improvement that we want to. You know, accomplish in our personal lives and our careers, and being parents, and being a wife, being a girlfriend, just being, um, you know, your best self. And it's about daily practices. And I, I don't, I don't um, advise people to get kind of weird about the topic and affirming things and becoming, you know, better as 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 people because we make mistakes all the time and we make bad choices and I think the beauty in all of that is um, you know finding out what you love and what you like about yourself you know mm -hmm. the, the weaker the weaker parts of yourself the stronger parts of yourself and so um, mistakes always happen so we always the, make um, the weird book, choices bad choices it's a, the, it's a women's book or is a... it's not, I don't write women's books oh, <laughs> it's, right, um, right. <laughs> no 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 it's not a it's, mm -hmm. I mean the Love Yourself campaign is not just about women. It's about human beings. And, um, you know, I'm a woman, and I am a woman who have who have overcome many struggles. And so, yes, I, I speak to a lot of women. And, you know, my main target is is women and young girls because that's where, that's where my struggles started. So in order for me to reach them, I have to be able to relate to them. And so I do, I do speak to women. But, you know... Becoming a be a better as a person is not just for women. You're right, you're right. I just, I just don't. Unfortunately, I never went through the book yet. <laughs> well, coming. you have your own <laughs> right in here. And you will have time when you're not driving to mm -hmm. go through it. Today, I Today will. Today, I will. <laughs> Peace, love. And it is to Morris Jackson. Oh, and his autograph. <laughs> yes, oh, it oh. is. See? I, I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> you should, but um, no, it's it's appreciating you inviting me on to your show. I'm going to put it to the back because you can't read it while you're driving. Especially with me in the car. But no. Uh, um, so that's what the book is all about. It's about so do I have to better. read the first book? And before we no, book? <laughs> you don't oh, have right, to read like the first one all right, all right, first. But right. I mean, they, they do complement each other. You know, all I right. talk about a lot of uh, similar subjects. Mm -hmm. And it's just an extension and an addition to um, what I wrote first. And it's all it's all under the umbrella of LYS Love Campaign, which is the campaign I started in 2013. 13, gotcha. And with that campaign uh, comes music, uh, apparel. I have um, my own clothing line, and we have books. We have um, a couple of things coming up, and I'm yeah, about to brand, start. <laughs> I'm about to start the Love Yourself tour at the end of this year, and so I'm going to travel all over and bring a few people with me um, on that tour to travel around the world to spread the message of love. And the Love Yourself message is not um, about being selfish, but it's it's about being better to yourself so that others can follow that example. All right, all right. So I see uh, you say music. Yeah. You, uh, you write music? Do you sing music? I or? write music, I sing music, I compose music, and um, I have Today I Will single coming out. I'm releasing it on June 11th of this year, 2018, and I featured Fit Ball Weeby on it, uh, Jamal Baptiste, Pernell Cook, Spody, um, who started out with Rebirth, and okay. who's a Grammy Award winner, and, um, and Stylist B, who's an extremely awesome, awesome artist here from New Orleans as well and it's an addition to to the book and um, it's pretty cool I'm, I'm looking forward to releasing that project I got the damn laugh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's how 
how urgent it is. It's yeah. urgent that we get this love yourself message out because I think people, you know, I know people are hurting every day and people uh, fall into becoming their pain and they forget about how special they really are and that they forget that there is actually, you know, um, a hump that they have to cross yeah. over to these get. These days, self-love is needed. To, exactly. Especially going on the world these days. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it's important and I know the importance of it because I already experienced self-hate in my mm -hmm. past and you know due to pain that others inflicted on me or you know even the pain that I inflicted on myself afterwards because I became that pain and that's all I knew you know, I saw like no a... hope I saw no no light you know mm -hmm. but um, I met a, a couple of people along the way who reminded me of, of my worth or what they saw in me mm -hmm. and and so that stuck with me you know being around positive people pretty cool. yeah, that's pretty cool I mean you got to surround yourself around people that's like-minded you know and yeah don't hang around the negative because you sometimes it turn your positive into a negative exactly you know when when your life is is, is already at a dark point mm -hmm. the last thing you need to do is surround yourself or become a part of um, company that that tears you down even more and can't lift you up so so how it all started you started you started with just like uh, just clothing first or you just branched out or you just um oh goodness I started with a few things I started with um, I always wanted to have my own t-shirt line I love tank oh. tops and little simple shirts um, mm -hmm. and I love little cute sayings on them but I started with um, with speaking to oh, okay. young to young girls uh, sharing my story mm -hmm. um, I went into some re rehabilitation centers mm -hmm. and um, halfway houses and um, so that, that triggered you to the I got you more oh yeah definitely definitely because once you see it firsthand sometimes uh, yeah um, spreading you know spread spreading that message and and reminding people of how special they really are, even if they have these struggles and, and, and this pain that they're dealing with, that um, I find that people people receive you better when they can relate to you. And I believe Definitely. if you have a story, if you have a journey where you need a rehabilitation at some point, or you know, if you were violated, or if you struggled with a, any type of addiction. I believe that if you overcome these things, the best thing you can do is not hide and not be ashamed of what, you, what you've what you been through, but our purpose is to share that with somebody else, to lift them up and help bring them out of some of the struggles that they may be dealing with. And, you know, when, when I started the Love Yourself uh, campaign, I was a little bit ashamed and, and kind of shy about telling my story to other people, but you find that when open up to others it, it actually helps you to to kind of uh, deal with certain things that you may not have have dealt with already mm -hmm. and then you understand wow I'm not the only one or you know my situation is not as bad that as is. I really thought it was because I'm sharing this with someone who's who's, who's worse off than I was and so <clears throat> and when they see that they always say you don't look anything like you've been through that and you know and they they ask questions like you know so how did you overcome this or how did you get over this and right. you know and in talking about it is when you're helping someone else you're helping yourself so as well exactly it's like self-therapy almost and it really gotta, is talk, talk it really it. is and so that's that's what i started off with speaking and sharing with other people and and then i uh in the process along along the way i, I was creating uh, designs for the apparel and i was writing my first book as well Wow, so you actually was just taking notes along your journey and it kind of turned to a book or just you just no, say one day I, let me I write a book about this <laughs> no i wasn't uh taking notes i always enjoyed writing and i always mm -hmm. wanted to write books okay. and um i never thought that me you know as a child wanting to write books and be an author or be a journalist or whatever i didn't think at all that i'd be writing about my own <laughs> my own <laughs> personal <laughs> uh struggles and pains and all that stuff but um, I find it more meaningful and it, it gives me uh, a purpose for writing because, you know, I'm inspiring other people. people well, yeah. that's my intention to inspire other people with whatever I write or whatever I put out. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So, so now yeah. you're traveling with us. It started, all, started local, yeah. nice, worldwide, huh? 
Yeah, it's yeah. a universal message, you know. Um, mm -hmm. People are hurting everywhere. Every, I'm about to, everywhere you go, is people hurting. Yeah. It's, I mean, it should be a little easier these days, but just with the Me Too movement, women should be more, yeah, of, of, you know, more accepting and more open to things now. I think we are. Um, well, I, I see the growth and mm -hmm. and the boldness and the fearlessness, you know, with women coming forth oh, yeah. about things that they've been holding on to for, yeah, for years yes. and you know some of our mothers and grandmothers have been you know they're older now and they were taught to you know to hide those things mm -hmm. and keep it secret it's, you know it's between a family and what goes on in his house stays yeah, in his house but they don't understand that teaching um your children those particular uh that route, that that tech, it's not even a technique that I, I wouldn't even call it a technique, but that mind frame, that mentality, what you're doing is basically telling them to just hide forget, pain, yeah, almost. Yeah, you just hide it, you know, um, and, and they don't understand it, it's tearing them up inside. And so a lot of people um, fall into self-destruction and, you know, my self-destruction was drugs and, you know, I had a cocaine addiction, addiction and that it almost took my life away wow. so trying to numb your pain and trying to hide all that and deal with it because you were never taught how to really deal with it. you were taught to cover it up and and so mm -hmm. some people find themselves in the situation Which, I was in and some people don't make it out some people die from over you know overdoses and they die that that's a wrap and you know I was just given luckily well fortunately I was given a, another chance but and I understood later on which is a horrible way to find it was bigger than my pain mm -hmm. i just didn't know it at the time and so now i have to go around and spread that message that's, that's i have to write about it i have to sing about it i have to talk about it i have to speak about it because that's that's what i know <laughs> I, I know my own story and um knowing that i i know now that i can help somebody I else exactly. i can pull somebody else out yeah, because people need people need help, and like you say, to to, to actually, it's like when you're going through it, you don't understand why you're going through it. You don't but when understand you, when it at all. When you look back at it, it's kind of like, all right. Yeah, you know, and like, and my job, I believe, is to when people are going through things. The, the thing is, you said the thing you just said is, you know, when you look back at it. Mm -hmm. Well, people don't when they're going through it, they don't understand that there's tomorrow and that there's the future ahead and that they will be able to look back. So my, a part of my job is to remind them and and, and put that in their ear and, and in their faces that, hey, I didn't think that I would be right here, but I am. And so um, I think people need to be reminded of, of being human first. And like you say, it's, it's a relatable story and and sometimes people don't want to talk about certain things but when they hear your story it's like wow you know it's make them open up and you never know who you help you never know these days you never know who you're helping and what we have to do i think um and we don't always know this neither but we have to understand that helping others is helping yourself it's it's important to reach out to other people not just to help yourself but mm -hmm. You know, if you don't feel like it or if you don't understand why you're going through something, sometimes, you know, somebody could help you out of it if you open up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, and running away, running away from things and trying to run away from your thoughts and your what's going on in your life, you only run into more problems. problems. All right, right. Like when people start getting high, getting drunk, and figure, no, I'll deal with this tomorrow. Guess what? <laughs> the moment it's over, it's, it's right back in your yep. face. And I wrote something in my first book, Poetic Heart. Uh, an excerpt says, running away, denying what's true, can only damage the inner you. And and it's very true. It's like, like a rap, like a rabbit fruit or something. Well, it's a, like it's, a bowl right it's there. A, it's a poetic <laughs> book. It's called Poetic Hearts. And, poetic um, Hearts. That's yeah. your first book, Poetic yeah. Hearts. It's, that's my first book. And it can be found on Amazon. And oh, your book's on Amazon? Yes. And my, right. my second book that I just released, Today I Will, can also be found on Amazon. You can just go to my website, EuniceLove.com, and you can find everything there. And for, yeah, and for um, any apparel, you can go to LYSApparel.com. So, yeah. yeah I, um, I, I saw your apparel, and I said, man, I, I, just, um, I ran across your page. Uh, just, I don't know how I ran across your page. But, uh, 
I was showing my wife and stuff, and she was like, that's nice, you know. Just the whole love yourself, love yourself thing, message, period, yeah. the message, and yeah. she was looking at the hats, the shirts, and you got the wristbands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, know, where, you got yours in your bag, too. I don't, I don't, I don't got some everything. We have, we have some, we have, this is a trucker hat. The love yourself trucker hat? Yeah. All right. This is, it's a regular black cap, and it has the Love Yourself logo on it. So you wear your own clothes, and now you come, you, you, you own I yourself. I wear my own clothes. Another <laughs> room there. I'm trying to so get my, my shirt on. And everything on. doesn't say Love Yourself. Some of them just has the, the logo on it, and this is a who that? This is gold and black. Wow. <laughs> gold and black, who that Love Yourself? Yeah. And this is a little regular. But, um... So all your products are from on your website. Everything Amazon. is on the website. These wristbands, mm -hmm. kids love them, yeah, men my, love them. My son collect them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah gotta, we got some all of them. Yeah, I get that from my son too. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I'll make you some wristbands. And I have shirts, mm -hmm. underwear. <laughs> oh, you got it all, huh? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong and with I'm that. working on a, um, a sports sports gear right now mm -hmm. to put out. Um, for, uh, the love yourself campaign. So what's this? Well, this is this is just telling you what what LYS love campaign is all about. Oh, okay, okay. And it's it was created to promote self love by sharing the importance of understanding self worth. So you pass those out, or you just? Yeah, I give them out. out they're in coffee coffee shops, libraries. Whenever somebody buys anything from me, if mm -hmm. I'm out um, as a vendor or if I'm speaking and I have a table set up with my you know, product, I always put this in their bags. Oh, okay. And it helps you to understand more about the Love Yourself campaign. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So you say uh, when you travel, like on tour, you, you do the same? Or, so you just speak when you, when you tra on travel? Or you speak and sell and set things and stuff up? Yeah, I'm not on tour yet. I'm starting the oh, tour yeah. at the end of this year. And the tour is going to have a, a a stage play. Oh, a stage play? Yeah. So you doing stage plays too? You doing it all, huh? Well, I've, been, write, I've been writing <laughs> all my life. So you hook me up, man. <laughs> These are things I always wanted to do. And now, I, just, I mean, with with this campaign, I have, I have nothing but subjects to write about all day long. And so... Um, that's what I'm doing with the tour. And with the tour, you you know, you have a little bit of music, you have a little bit of acting, you have people modeling, you have people um, reciting excerpts from the book. I mean, the and at the same time, you're spreading that message and people are enjoying the arts, you know, creative arts. That's pretty cool. So with that, you know, you can go to, to schools, you can go to colleges, um, young kids and you spread that message uh, you can entertain college students um, and bring it into the theaters so that's what I'm so working what, on for what, a, what a love yourself campaign do you get any hate because how can you hate a love yourself I don't, campaign if I if I get it I don't get it <laughs> you know? in my face <laughs> so right. that's, you know people hate anything these days that's no matter good, what you do and you but know, how can you it's easy be negative toward a love to yourself love, campaign right? yeah, you but know? I mean some people are really really um, focusing more on the hate because that's just another pain, you know, uh, hurting person. You know, it's, it's not mm -hmm. that they want to hate, they, that, more of a jealousy they they're side giving you, they, they're putting out what's inside. That's all. So, I don't, I, I don't think I'll take it personally. So, so you should have hate done it. Like, how can you hate love? Like, really? <laughs> I mean... You know, people just find any. People, I just ask you know, people find any ways anything, to discredit something, anything to hate to something, discredit uh, something positive, anything to to stop somebody from moving forward. But mm -hmm. I mean, you you have to remember that people are dealing with their own personal problems. That's really not your problem. Mm -hmm. If they are hating you, it's, it's their own. They probably hate who they are, hate the situation they're in because you're someplace different. With whatever you're doing, you can never do good enough. That's you why know I what ask I mean? Because I get not major hate, but some type of slick comments. I'm like, that's fine. Running around the van talking to people. That's, I mean, that's fine because because people what, don't like, understand. Really? You know, really? A lot of times people.
people act out because they don't understand what's going on. They're not. They're mad because they're ignorant to what's going on. Now you want to run? You let me know. I gotta, I gotta hook you up. Let me down. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why I Be careful actually, with I that ride. You don't know what. You don't know what's going on with that kind of heat. But yeah, you know when. No matter how good you do, people will always find something negative to say about you, or if they even lie about you. So you can't worry yeah, about that makes stuff. Yeah, It's always gonna happen. So we are uh, the apparel. Let me get the shirt from back here. Let's, uh, let's see what's... Okay. Let's advertise that. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, this this tank top is actually one I'm wearing as well, but it's a different color. And the material is super, super good for uh, the heat. You know how humid it is in New Orleans. This is a Love Yourself t-shirt. That's one of my very first ones. And this, is, this one says Love Yourself Now. Love yourself now. <laughs> I saw that on your, your, your thing, some of you were now. I couldn't yeah. Know. And this is one of um, my Today I Will shirts. I'm going to have some merchandise. So you have uh, men clothes as well? I do. I have men t shirts. I have hats. I have. Don't laugh, but I have underwear. <laughs> So, the, the men love yourself on the way. I heard that. Hey. I have tanks. I have I have apparel for men as well. And they're gonna have their own sports gear as well too. So So, so how how does the how does the your male crowd accept the love yourself uh, I never had it, a problem, you know, problem with um okay. yet. Yeah, uh, I mean um, you really can't that's why, you know, but you know because my first saw her, but I got you no know, a wife. Right. I have two daughters, you know, so I definitely, oh, yeah. I, I definitely uh, like what's going on. And just sometimes, I don't know all the time that everything is, is, is trustable. If no, trust, everything trust, is If not trustable trust. is a word. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I actually like that. <laughs> People you know, even say, that, say something in a song where he, That's really a word. He but, says Googleable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But no, I understand what you mean, so don't worry about it. Like now, you can see, you because know, uh, all women are right, and it's like all men not right. Exactly. You know, and some women lie, just like some men lie. Yeah. And you know, these days, like you never know if it's one percent true before public opinion just exactly. you know tell you the part. That's the downside about it. But you know, you know a lot of a lot of women are speaking out. Who has this story, really? Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's disrespectful. I think it's very. Uh, I don't know. It's it's. I don't know how to feel. I, I don't know what word to really call it, but I think it's really sad when other women show up and and lie about these type of things. When people, you know, when this when this type of thing can kill a person inside, or people kill themselves, and you know, like this is a very serious matter, and you come across just for attention, you're saying it happened to you too. And what I don't like about it, I mean, what I do and I don't like about it is that. These things been going on a lot, especially with black women. And it took for to have the <laughs> white women to get as big as it is. I think it should have been big, no matter you know what women say that. But you gotta jump on like that. I guess it's okay, you know. Mm -hmm. But well, it's not okay to um, to lie about things mm -hmm. like that when when people are really hurting behind and because of those type of situations. Mm -hmm. And um, the Love Yourself campaign talk about that too. It's it's it, it's to reach out to people who battle with depression, low self-esteem, mm -hmm. suicidal behavior and thoughts, abandonment, promiscuity, addictions, along with victims of sexual molestation and rape. So, so, you, so you basically cover cover it all. You kind of. I don't cover it all. I only um, cover what I can relate to. And what I can tell somebody about because oh, so of my own personal, own personal story. It's a real story. It's not a made up uh, you, a second hand. Because my friend did this, so uh, you know it's personal. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, make, it make it real. It's a unique story. It's very real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, and people really go through this, and I, I feel proud of this campaign. So because anybody ever came to you and just and be like, and you helped me so much. I'm pretty much sure it happens people a lot of people and a lot of guys too and um and women come to me or send me messages or mm -hmm. call me up and leave messages inbox me whatever however they can reach me or however they feel comfortable and they tell me all the time i just had somebody uh dm me on on instagram he said 
he said that he is going on five no wait five years since something else but it's going on three years since he's been clean and um it's a guy yeah it's a guy who struggled with a drug addiction and um and he he thanked me for helping him to get to that point where you know he actually had hope that he can get past it and 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 i did i helped him out with that as much as i could i took him by his hand with that and um he's three years clean now that's very and cool. very okay. very proud of himself. So he spread the word to somebody else, and yeah. man, how you get like that, man? You stop dragging? Yeah, man, read this. Word of mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so I just good. I just got that just the other day, and that, that was my latest thank you for you know helping me get. How make you feel? Make you feel good? I feel proud <laughs> of of people when I get that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes me feel really happy about helping, but mm -hmm. I I I become really proud of the person, and I just want to celebrate them and keep them going and every now and then I might send them a message or call check on them and and just say you know just remind them again that, know, that's just out of the blue they so. have to help people to get people above sometimes it takes you know like you never know I, I, I bet he probably never thought that it take a woman to help him you know get himself together I mean you never you never know these days you never yeah know. yeah and um a, a really good thing about about his situation is that he's now uh well i met his mom and his mom had a drug addiction as well wow. but uh reaching out to his mom and helping his mom get through some things she um she's clean now eight months or seven or eight months something like that mm -hmm. but she have um other issues like some of these 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 battles that i mm -hmm. went through she shared with me and so now we're kind of tackling one by one like kind of working on different things at a, thing time. at a time yeah and um, so I'm looking forward to her story being just like her son's, you know. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. That's it pretty is. Cool. It is. So, Maurice, I want to thank you for your time and having me thank a part you. of it was an Abandoned honor. Voices. <laughs> thank you for your time. It was an honor. I appreciate it. No, and that's just all The Spread This Love campaign and uh, spread love to the world because the world we live in right now is so full of hate. Ooh, it is. Love is the answer. It's. You know? It's, it's like we mentioned love. People kind of just, you know, you start. It's like you ever had an experience, uh, like a uh, when people just you doing something good for somebody, and they all may think you up to something. Like it's like why she's so nice, right? You know because right. people so used to people being mean to them or people being shady, manipulative. Yeah. So when you just smiling and nice and thank you, they think you up to something. Up to something. That's pretty sad, that, and that's it, the world we live that's, in. That's crazy. Like, like. I'm showing love. That means I I want something. Oh, you know, that's that's crazy. It is crazy, <laughs> but hey, we gotta focus more on the positive and the love mm -hmm. instead of you know the hate. We could get so caught up into that because the world is full of it enough. We need to be focusing more on positive and more love. And it starts with us first. We gotta start loving ourselves more every day. Practice something that can get you to a better place in your lives. Yeah. There we go. So one more time, the website. Unislove.com. That's E-U-N-I-C-E-L-O-V-E dot -E -E com. And the apparel line is L-Y-S apparel dot com. Got it. And since we live in the Instagram world and Twitter and all oh, yeah. that. You, you definitely can, got it. Definitely. <laughs> you, definitely. Said, <laughs> you can follow me at Eunice Love, the number three. E-U-N-I-C-E-L-O-V-E three both on Twitter and Instagram and request me at Facebook, Eunice Love. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, love, no, yourself. Just, love yourself, love yourself. Young black guy, <laughs> bandedvoices.com and you know, y'all know how to find me. No, you're not, I'm not just a I'm young not black important. guy. I'm no, not no, important, no. I'm, just, I'm just here. <laughs> y'all get in touch with Morris Jackson. He's the coolest driver I ever met. <laughs> I'm super nervous when people are driving me anywhere. <laughs> Once again, thank you again, and I really appreciate it, and thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you got it.